Hello, all of you beautiful humans. Welcome, 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 welcome to Menopause of Madness. I am your host, April Rain, and welcome to my midlife crisis. Hello, everybody. Happy Mask Monday, Herbal Talk. I hope everybody had a wonderful weekend, had the weekend that they wanted, um, were able to do what they wanted, you know, whether it was work, chill, chores, just hang out, you know. Um, I've missed you. I've missed you. I am feeling really nervous for some reason, but my anxiety is very, very high right now. So I think I'm going to start this with a deep breath. Whew. That was like a mini one. I don't know what that was. Let me get my bum up on this pillow. Okay, I'm going to take a deep breath. And if you feel that you need to do this, please join me. Hold it. We're going to shake a, shake a, shake a, shake a, all of the outside woes and fears and dramas and anxieties and, and all of the bad and the negative outside of our happy little bubble where it's just you and me. Oh, yeah. It's been a really crazy week. I know that we did have a, um, we had a new moon and I'm not going to get like all into it, but a new moon can represent changes and new beginnings, that kind of thing. And that has definitely, 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 that has definitely happened in my world. So, um, I don't want to really get into it too much. Uh, it's, it can be a very positive thing. It's something that we have in a sense wanted, but weren't prepared for it. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't have to do with, um, having to move or anything like that. So, um, I don't want anyone to, you know, Lonnie and I are both okay. It's just, um, it's just a very stressful time. So it is mask Monday. Today I'm going to try this be pure mermaid face mask. I have not tried this and I, um, I do know that Sandy from My Nutty Nook, hey girl, um, she uses these. So when I went to the Dollar Tree, it was a while ago, I had picked one up because I wanted to see if it would work for me. Now I have had some of you have told me that um, my skin is starting to look better. Now I can't say anything about that today because like I said, I am under so much stress. And for those of you that have been following my uh, perimenopausal journey, I have been cycling for over a month now. And for the women that know how the cycle works, an average cycle is like three to seven days. Um, for me, I would have like a couple days that where it's like, the, the worst, you know, it's the worst. It's when you want to cut, you know, cuddle up in the fetal position and just under the blankets and not talk or see anybody because you're just in so much pain and um, mental anguish. That's all I can say about that. And I am actually stuck in that zone and have been for over a month. So the emotions, the, um, the emotions as far as crying for no reason, crying at the drop of a dime, um, feeling rageful at the drop of a dime. It's just, um, yeah, it's that. So that's what I've been going through. And then on top of what, you know, life is throwing at us, it's just been really crazy. So I'm surprised that my skin doesn't look any worse. Um, so yes, I haven't been sleeping right. My, uh, as much as I try to get myself into a good rhythm i'll get there for maybe a couple weeks and then you know i can't so when i'm not in my proper rhythm i'm only sleeping between three to five hours in a 24-hour period and most of the time it's broken up so i think some of you out there can relate to me and um 
So it's just, it's just that, just that. So I, I, I almost feel like I need another breath. I have been, um, I've been trying to relieve myself with, um, the breathing and my mind is just so at a point where I can't stop the racing. So I do have a couple of things today, the herbs that we are going to talk about, but let's get this mask and eye thing on my face, right? So I have my Bio Aqua Rose and Hyaluronic Acid eye, eye, um, eye masks. So, okay. So if I sound shaky and that, please, I'm sorry, you know, it's just the, what I'm going through and, um, yeah, so I'm going to put this one on. Now today I'm going to be talking about a plant, scientific name, Alvisia jillibrisson. That's such a fun one to say, but also known as the mimosa or the happy tree as it's known in traditional chinese medicine this feels like it doesn't want to stay on but i think it's going to be good and if you've ever seen one of those or smelt one of those then you you know what plant i'm talking about and you might think because a lot of people think of it as a uh, um a weed a and i'm talking about the tree i'm not talking about the bush that would be the mimosa podica and i'm actually talking about albizia jillibrisson and this is why it is kind of important to learn scientific names or at least have them recorded somewhere so that you can you know be able to look at them and know exactly what plant because there's so many plants that are close to what you want to be what you want to be um studying that if you don't get the exact right plant which you can tell from not you can tell i'm saying this all wrong i'm so sorry the scientific name helps you identify the exact plant that you need to you want to be studying. I hope I didn't confuse anybody like I just confused myself. Okay, I've got the the eye mask on. Gosh, these smell so good. They smell so good. I love the smell of um Japanese cherry blossoms. They're just wonderful. So again, this is the eye mask I'm using, the Bio Aqua Rose Hyaluronic Acid. And I, I absolutely love this. Okay, and as I said, I'm going to be using the Mermaid, the Mermaid Face Mask from Be Pure, which is a Dollar Tree brand. And it looks, oh wow, it's a different color. It looks like it's got little scales on it and it is juicy 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 so let me grab my towel and put it right here so i can not dripping all over myself okay another plant i want to talk about today are cleavers also known as bed straw but cleaver scientific name is i i I know it's Galena. See, I still, you know, I don't know every plant that I study by its scientific name. Not even close. Oh, Gallium Aparine. So I just, Gallium, it's also known as bed straw. You know cleavers. If you've seen them in your yard, they will stick to you. They are, um, they went, they called bed straw because they used to be used to fill mattresses. How crazy is that, right? Okay, so here we have the mask. Let's get it on the face. Oh, it smells it smells good. Little little funky maybe. Oh gosh, that feels so good on my face. I can't even I can't 
I just can't. It feels so nice. Okay, let's get it. Let's get it. I think I'm going to have some folds, but that's okay because it's still on my face. It's a pretty, it's a pretty mask. Okay, so before we get any further, here is my bag of sweary affirmations. And I definitely need this. Let's just go and pick. Oh, very pretty. It says, breathe in the good shit, breathe out the bullshit. Let me say that again, because that just is so relevant. Breathe in the good shit, breathe out the bullshit. So I love that. It's very fitting. It's very fitting for me today. How is it for you? Do you relate to that today? I feel like I look like some kind of scary Halloween monster, scary monster. I'm a scary monster. Okay. So speaking of the mimosa, here is my tincture. I do have it labeled up there. This is actually from um, August of 2023. And these right here are actually a beautiful pink when you pick them. When, when they're ripe and prime, they're a pink feathery blossom. And they are so beautiful. I can understand why it was called the happiness tree. You know what I'm saying? And this smell... The smell is just, I can't even put it into words, the smell of the mimosa blossoms. But the color does go out. And this is, this is actually a very good, uh, a very good strong tincture, if I say so myself. And I do. So this right here is a calming um, they put, they call it sedative in their, you know, definitions of it in certain places you can look online. Please remember, I will have the links, the, the, uh, the scientific names, links to, um, where you can find more information about this, um, down in the description box. And, um, now I do have my, my talking points that I try to stick to, which of course, you know, is so difficult for me because I'm usually all over the place, right? Um, okay, so it, the tree of happiness in traditional Chinese medicine, it is not known to have any contraindications, but, you know, like I've said, every, every video, please please make sure that you talk with your healthcare professional or, you know, your, you, you know, your healthcare professional, whether it be a doctor or whoever takes care of your health for you uh, before you start a herbal therapy, especially, especially if you are taking any kind of medications like blood pressure medication, blood thinning medications like warfarin or Coumadin, those ones are, they will interact with a lot of herbs. I mean, they, you know, it, it's, it's scary. It's scary, the contraindications that you can um, find yourself dealing with if you take any of those medications. Now, it is said, and I will have the link to where I'm getting this information in the box below. So in the description box below, so you can, you know, look for yourself and, because that's my job. My job is to guide you uh, to more information, right? So, um, da -da -da. so yeah, for anxiety, insomnia, calming nerves, um, the, the traditional Chinese medicine has used it for thousands of years. Now, the reason I'm even talking about it is because of the way I'm feeling right now. 
I was going to talk a little bit more about immunity and autoimmune kind of things, but that is a little more advanced and I would probably confuse myself trying to not say certain things, you know, that whole deal right there. But the mimosa, al uh, albizia jilly brisson is been used for, like I said, it's been used for thousands of years to calm the mind, calm the spirit. Um, it has been used to help treat insomnia and um, all kinds of calming issues. It's just the calming. <coughs> Excuse me. It is the calming, you know, if you, it's the calming spirit if you will. And there are some people that actually call it the nature's Xanax. Now I can't really get behind that, but that is something that some people have called it. Um, but it did, it won't work like that. It won't work like, okay, you take the drops and all of a sudden, you know, you're See, I say that and I confuse myself because it actually does work like that, but it doesn't work like Xanax. It's nothing like, like Xanax. Plant medicine is nothing like uh, pharmaceutical medicines. It doesn't work like that. So, um, yeah, the mimosa is something if you are interested in it, like I said, I will have the links below to see if that is a plant that is right for you. Now, I brought up cleavers, which is this tincture also known as bed straw now i love cleavers because it is a lymph tonic so it will help cleanse your okay cleanse it's one of them words we're not supposed to use um it helps to move your lymphatic so that you can get it out of your system so this one is really really great i love this one as a spring tonic um, it will move all of that icky winter stuff, you know, the, the stagnant stuff that's in your body, in your lymph, and will help to move that so you can, I, the only word I'm coming up with is excrete, so I'm sorry for using that word, but you get what I'm trying to say, right? Um, and it's crazy because just about everybody can find cleavers in their yards, in a, you know, and just to say also that don't forage for things like cleavers or any herbs within like 20 feet of a road, a busy road. Um, because, you know, all of the, the pollutants that come from cars and other types of vehicles and things like that will pollute your plants. So, yeah, try to go further away from any kind of... Um, of roadway like that because as it happens a lot of these plants will grow on those you know roadways where it's like crap soil if any soil at all you know they're just very um very strong and i can't think of that word right now plants so yes cleavers i love cleavers it is a great spring tonic um, to help move things through your lymphatic system. And, you know, if you're doing like, oh goodness, I don't want to okay. So say if it's me, what I personally will do is I will fast and then I will have a herbal therapy why I'm doing that. And when I fast, it's only for, uh, 24, 48 hours. I don't do any crazy long fasting because I do kind of do a, um, the, the daily fasting where I will go 12 hours without eating. And then I will, you know, so I do that and, um, and it works for me. I mean, it works for me for where I'm at now in my life. Let me say it like that, because if everything worked so perfect for me, I would not look like this and, you know, things would be a lot happier in my body right but baby steps that's what i say that's what i'm always telling lonnie baby steps don't try to change your your diet and you know don't try to change your body all at once baby steps because you don't want to um 
what is that word? You don't want to... <sighs> I can't think of that word. I'm so sorry. My mind is mush right now, y'all. Okay, so the other one I wanted to talk about was um, motherwort. Now, we've talked about motherwort for, um, like, menstrual issues, menopausal symptoms, Motherwort is also very calming. She is calming and loving, and she has been used for thousands of years for insomnia, calming the spirit, calming the mind. And when you do a herbal therapy, it is a whole body experience. So you, you don't want to just take a herb, a couple drops of a tincture and be like, oh, you know, and I mean, there's got to be so much involved with that, like your belief. You need to believe that what you are um, not ingesting, but what you are putting into your body is going to do exactly what you want it to do. The power of belief. I'm telling you, it is beautiful. It's wonderful. A lot of you already know this, but there are quite a few of you that don't know about uh, herbal, herbal, um, therapies. And also if you have any questions, if I'm not explaining something to your satisfaction, please put it in the comments. Or if you are comfortable with that, please feel free to email me. My email is always in the description box down below. Um, also if you're new, I know we have some, some new tribe members Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for joining us, being part of this madness. And um, please don't forget a thumbs up. Or if you don't like this, a thumbs down one or the other. So that way YouTube knows that I am, uh, that I have real people watching me, that y'all are real and not bots. Also, uh, Crazy Mimi Yup and a couple of other creators have talked about, they are getting emails from people stating that they have been unsubscribed. So please take a moment to check and see if you are still subscribed, if that, if you are wanting to be subscribed. And while you're doing that, give me a little thumbs up if you like this content. Um, I know I just went, you know, some, I forget about saying that kind of stuff and it hits me and it's like, okay, let's stop everything just so I can, you know, remind everybody. But I have noticed when I look at my YouTube studio and I'm looking at my own numbers and that type of thing, that something is wonky there. Something is really wonky. And, um, I always feel like YouTube is doing something, you know, like they're messing with my numbers or they're messing with this because they literally unsubscribe people from the creators that they want to watch. Like YouTube, who do you think you are? Why are you doing that? Anyways, so back to motherwort. I have talked about it before, but motherwort, I tell you, she is, that's why she is motherwort. She is the mother. She will give you a hug. She will help you to calm down. She will help you to clear your mind. So I will also have about motherwort, which is Leonora's Cardiaca down in the description box. These three herbs are like three of my most favorites and i say that because they are all my favorites right they're all my favorites but i wanted to bring cleavers up because i actually have a friend that is um waiting on some tinctures because he has lymphatic issues he only has one lymph node and he needs that extra help for the drainage and so i wanted to i had it pulled out from my my dark area where tinctures are kept that is the best way to keep tinctures is in a dark uh cool area um i will go more into making tinctures soon and i will make one you know they're like really simple um but i will make one and show you how to make a tincture so again i want to show you this is the the mimosa and if you think of mimosa, isn't that, isn't that kind of, it's kind of, I don't know, but, um, this is for calming. Now, both this and motherwort I have for calming. And then the cleavers are 
to move that crap out. You know what I'm saying? Move that icky. Get that moving. Um, get because your lymph, your your lymph system, is what will, in a sense, cleanse your body. You know of all of its toxins, poisons, and it is also um, will help support your liver and kidneys so why they are getting rid of that nasty mess right okay so those are the three i was i wanted to talk about rose a little bit for toning but i'm not going to go into that today because i do use the rose hyaluronic i actually make a rose hydrosol um, rose water is very good for you and we have a really great rose bush that is that is, uh, is she's so happy and plentiful and is always offering her her beauty and um her bounty so i will go into that another time please also remember that if there is something you would like me to talk about if there's a specific plant her um anything anything actually that you would like me to talk about please as i said leave it down in the comments or if you're not comfortable with that you can email me and i will talk about it um anything anything your heart desires so also let's see don't forget about the giveaway that we have going on um for my 2500 excuse me water actually not water i am doing duncan's is one of my very favorite coffees let's take a duncan break or water or whatever is your poison okay sorry about that i think i got a little bit of mask in there too oh well i think i should be okay um, I actually forgot where my train of thought was with that, but, um, yes, the giveaway, don't forget about the 2,500 giveaway. Um, the video will be down in the description box also, and I'm so excited about that. It's going until the 21st. Um, also I've got something really big and, um, really fun coming soon. I will have Timu. There will be Timu. It'll be today or it'll be later, like this evening. I will have, I've got so many bags over there and so much cool stuff that I cannot wait to show you. Um, but I just haven't been in the right frame of mind to be filming anything. So I am excited about it. I can't wait to, to be able to show you all of the cool things. Um, let me think. I don't, you know, I always don't want to forget things and, um, I end up doing it anyway, but yes, if you want to learn more about motherwort, mimosa, or cleavers, there will be lots of great information down in the description box, links to where you can find even more great information. Now, please, I am not a doctor. I do not pretend to be one. Uh, this is for entertainment purposes only. Uh, please do not use anything in this video to treat, diagnose, cure. You know, you all know the spiel, right? Which will also be in the description box. But I do want to say I have been doing some serious uh, studying up on all of the things that really happened back in the day when the ama the american medical association like canceled herbalism and made it illegal and you know i've already known some things about it but i'm learning more and i swear it just it just upsets me so much because it was all done on purpose it was all done on purpose because we don't have health care we have sick care and that's as far as i'll go with that but I do believe that this is ready to come off. This did feel really good. It felt really, really good. I think it's pretty. I love the colors. Colors were super pretty. 
But yes, please, please don't hesitate. Like I said, if you are uncomfortable leaving a comment, you can email me with questions, concerns, um, anything like that. So I want to thank you so much for joining me today. I miss y'all so much. I really do. I miss this. I miss this interaction because I don't know if y'all really understand what it does for me. And um, I really, really appreciate and love every single one of you. And I know that, you know, some of you might think, oh, well, she just says I love you to everybody. My heart is there. My heart is there. I have so much love. And how can I not with your comments, which is one thing, I'm very sorry, I will sit with your comments. I have not done that. Um, but I will sit with your comments and I will answer every single one of them. Uh, please don't think I'm ignoring you. I'm not. It has been with this situation. I just blow, I wall myself off from everything. And it's the only way that I can try to feel like I'm calm without having been, you know, it's, it's a whole thing, you know, it's a whole thing. And hopefully maybe I can work through this with your help. I can work these out. Maybe, you know, you know, just figure it out, figure it out. I mean, my goodness, life is hard enough without, you know, perimenopause madness. You know, that's exactly, I knew when I named this channel, you know, <clears throat> excuse me. And someone even told me at one point, you need to change the name of your channel because people are not going to like it. People are not going to, you know, I, I was told that, you know, I was actually told to change everything about myself when I first started. And that almost broke me. It almost broke me, but I, I didn't let it. And I still look at that today and think, you know, I'm really glad that I didn't change anything. So thank you again so very much. Please hit up the description box down below. There's lots of information. There's the giveaway video. There is my email address, all kinds of goodies about the plants that we talked about today. Great, uh, link, great links to great information. So thank you, thank you again. I can't say that enough. Please remember to check to see that you are subscribed. If you wish to be subscribed, give me a thumbs up or if you feel it's necessary, a thumbs down. And um, thank you. Thank you so much for being here for me. I mean that. And please, please remember to be kind humans. <laughs>